Dan here, Scooter Magazine. Right, I'm just doing a couple of engine builds, um, so I thought I'd give you an update and let you know what components we're using, that's all. Um, this one's for a customer. It's an SX200, Italian SX200, um, with a BGM race tour kit, and then the other engine, which I'll do a separate video on, is for me. Um, it's the new uni casings and a TS1240 build, but I'll do a separate video for that. Okay, so this chap um, bought himself an SX200. It was a ongoing project of somebody else's, so it was already stripped down and blasted in bits. He bought it as an ongoing thing. So he sent the bodywork off to be sprayed somewhere else. Um, the casings were already done beautifully, vapor blasted, so they've come up lovely. He sent those off first of all to Mark Broadhurst at MB Developments for him to have a look at all the structural side of things, all the studs and whatnot. Mark's done his work, tidied all that up, got all the studs and threads sorted, sent those back to me. I've assembled a list of components um, in agreement with the customer and then I'm now going to get on with building that. So um, some of the stuff that he got in the box was missing, so we just had to replace it. Other stuff, it wasn't original to the build, so it got an aftermarket cranking, which still had the old LI taper, which I didn't like. Um, I didn't like the crank itself, let alone the fact it had the LI taper on. And it had an Indian, um, it had an Indian uh, barrel on there, which was um, with a mismatched piston and a few other bits that I didn't like. So overall, what we've come up with is, um, thankfully he still had his SX200 gearbox, so that's slotted in. I've used a BGM rear hub bearing in there, they're really nice hub bearings, they come with the seal fitted in them. Um, so that's all greased up and uh, fitted in there. Gearbox in, and then use the BGM shimming pack to uh, get the correct shimming clearances on his gearbox. For the clutch, I just haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'll either do my four plate with uprated springs, or I might go to the five plate. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, that will be running with the Iris chain. One thing I'll say about Ives chains is that they're, they're a really good piece of kit. However, obviously somebody's realised that Iwis is a great brand. Scurists use them a lot. They realised that Iwis do a lesser spec version, which is the black version. Um, they're not as good. You don't want to be using them, not even on a standard build. So you always want to be going for the silver Iwis chain. I got this one from AF Race Speed, but lots of people stock the silver one. Mostly I see the black ones for sale on eBay. So I suppose that... Is an indicator but avoid the black house chains go for the silver ones bearing wise at the big end here i'll be using skf bearings for his main and his mag uh got the castle lambretta brown Viton seals which will be accompanying those bearings and then at the top end here i'm going to be using the bgm this is the 58 stroke with 110 rod crank I like the spec of the 110 rods in general, and I like the fact that the, that extra, you know, um, length of rod gives you the facility to um, just adjust the packer plate a bit more freely, to adjust your port height and your squish um, a bit better. So that's the 58 100, uh, sorry, 58 110 uh, BGM crank, um, and that will be running in conjunction with the BGM 225 race tour kit. I have fitted tons of these, they're just really consistent, they're good quality, you always know what you're going to get. They're not the highest performing kit out on the market, but that's perfect. That, that, this chap didn't want the highest performing kit on the market, he wanted a good all-rounder which was high quality, and this is a good all-rounder which is high quality. Alloy cylinder, Nicosil base, uh, Nicosil lining, the cylinder port arrangement lends itself to nice lift in power, well above standard with potential to do much more if you want to, but just in its current trim, a nice all-rounder with good miles per gallon returned with the right setup, um, but high quality. CNC machined head with eight point fixings, recessed combustion chamber, um, and then your high quality piston with the one mil rings and the uh, piston coating. So a nice kit, and that will be matched up with a 25 mil. PHBL Del Auto Carb because he wanted to retain the air bellows and filter setup so that it gives it that original look there. And then we will be running a Clubman pipe on it. Um, and that will be the setup. I don't know exactly what horsepower that'll kick out. He's not particularly interested, and in this build, neither am I. If you said that um, I think a factory figure was 12 horsepower for a standard uh, you know, 200cc engine, 12 horsepower, 
at the that was at the crank at the back wheel when I measured them on my dyno. They were around about nine horsepower. I would expect this with a Clubman pipe on to be something in the region of fourteen to sixteen um, horsepower, which which isn't crazy in today's world. But this that will provide him with the SX two hundred gearbox, the nice gearing, a really nice steady ride for him to enjoy and have fun on. Um, using the JPP. Um, Adjuster block, swivel, and uh, bar. Um, got him a new kickstart. That's about it. Once this is finished, I'll do a, a roundup video. Let you see it finished. Um, and see if we can get it a video of it in the engine, in the scooter, running, and see if we can get him doing a test ride on it. Right. We'll take a look at the TS one two forty now. See you in the next video.